we have talked about the earth road and the earthing connection but it is important to always consider the earth terminations in the circuits in our houses or the electrical installation because if that connection is compromised then even if the earth road is perfect in a perfect ground it will not work in that installation the earth connections we will connect them to the earth bars that are here now smash the like button if you are getting some earth value and if you are here for the first time then i can assure you that this is the best channel when it comes to electrical connections or basically electricity we learn a lot when it comes to the same topic you can be assured that i will cover a lot i also respond to comments and whatever your request i will definitely respond to it so for these earth connections i will simply strip them and for me i'm starting with these other ones that are coming from the conduits that are above here notice how long these wires are and i have to connect them here i see many people make a mistake whereby most electricians make this mistake with the earth connection once they notice or they measure that they have to connect it here they cut at the exact position it is important for you to have a lot of space for future repairs in case there will be need for more wires here the consumer unit has a lot of space and this is to accommodate extra wires so for me what i will do instead of just having the wires go direct to the earth bar and then cut them like that because they will be short i will simply make use of this space that is on the consumer unit and then have them coiled all the way before i can connect them even for these extra ones i will simply find some room for them so that i will connect but first i will screw them and then later find some room because i will definitely not lack i will take my wires and then have them go through all the way there take i will take one by one and then i will connect at any of those screws that are on my earth connection like so so that is my earth bar still ensuring it is tightly done and then the other wire have it go all the way in now having connected those wires i'll make sure that i create room for them so that the future electrician will have an easier time to make sure that he uses some extra wires there and i will have them coil all the way there and make use of that so i will then arrange them in a proper way but first let me also connect these other earth wires coming from the electric cooker here and the socket in the kitchen to this bar that is here that we had already connected and for that i will simply create more room for the wires and have them connected here then screw 
So that is our second earth bar and it is linking to the first earth bar which is also connected to the incoming earth wire from the meter box. So with this one I will also connect it here. Then I will also create room and have the wires go all the way like so and come back like that so that I have some extra wires in the consumer unit. The same as this other one. This one is from the kitchen socket. So I have plenty of wires here from the earth connection plenty of them there now having connected our earth wires we have made sure that we have created enough room for those earth wires here the current that the cooker will be drawing from this circuit as you can see these wires are 4.0 millimeters square going all the way to the kitchen and they will guarantee our client longevity as well as safety as they operate these important appliances. At the meter box level, things get interesting when we talk about a thing. Now, in the next video, I will be talking about that and taking you through the a thing of the meter box. Subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss the episode. Bye-bye.